What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Kevin, and I got... Jose. All right, guys. So in this video right here, we're going to actually review this little camera right here. Jose's going to go over it with you just for right about now. Uh, so we found this little camera in Goodwill. We were just walking around. We were interested in it. We were like, is that a little fake camera? We looked more into it. It looked more... It actually looked like a real camera. So we looked it up. It's actually a camera for kids that costs $34 on Amazon. It's, it's, made, it's like a little GoPro for kids for them to record videos underwater and just fun things. And Kevin's going to display the features right now. All right. So it's a VTech, and it basically has a two two and a half hour battery life it's meant for ages four and nine and it up goes up to 39 or 32 gigabytes of memory and it has this waterproof case right over here so we have water right there and we're going to do a drop test without the case to see how durable it is and it's actually worth buying for your kids and i'm going to go in the features on right now let's turn it on real quick as you can see it makes a really cool noise when it turns on vtech all right so we and go it to comes in multiple colors it comes in black and yellow blue and lighter blue i think we just happened to find it pink. <laughs> yeah, we finally found the mainliest one we can find. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you guys is that it has games for your kids right here when they're bored and they want to record it, like in a car. It has fun little games for them. Super Border, Mountain Bike, and Crazy Captain. Let's mm -hmm. try one of these games out and see how they work. All right, guys. Targets collect 12 points. As you can see, it's just a simple game of jumping up and down, collecting the coins, nothing special, objects that you have to avoid. A little game when they're bored in the car and the dishes need to do something and they have no signal. All right, so, so that's like, that game. You guys get the point of that game. All the games are pretty much the same like that. Just little side scrollers like that. So as we can see here, other features, it has a stop motion camera. So, so stop motion basically just takes repeat. It takes on a, a good amount of pictures. You don't need to show that off. They get no, it. No, I'm just going. Uh, it take a picture every three seconds, every five seconds, every ten seconds. Even does every point five seconds. It goes from zero point five seconds to ten seconds of the pictures you want to take. So it's me may, may create a little stop motion video for like Legos and stuff. Actually, some fun I think it's more for like when you're walking. It kind of looks like a, like a flip book. I guess. And right here we got the camera. And the thing I liked about this for kids, it has a bunch of little like filters, filters, filters little backgrounds for them that they can have fun with. And like I'm saying, it's not meant for much older kids. It's just for kids who want to take them to Grand Canyon. They want to record the videos. I mean, in my opinion, I think it's more for like parents that don't want to buy their kids like a cell phone and you want to get them something that's they kind of replace that. All right. And uh, show their creativity. All right, guys. And we're going to switch over to this one in three, two, one. Flip. As you guys can see, the quality of this is not that good, it's not that bad, it's perfect for your kids. Nothing special, it's just for them to record or take pictures. And we're going to put it into the water case right now, the waterproof case. Hey guys, and right now you're seeing both screens of both cameras right now, and we're going to dip it into water. Let's see how it looks. So it's fully submerged right now, it's completely underwater. It looks like it's catching on the video perfectly fine. I can see everything good. I'm gonna put my hand in here, see if you can see it right there. I'm gonna put Kevin's face. See what you do so you do stare at yourself. Alright, so I'm giving it water, I'm gonna grab it. Alright guys, take it out. Alright. It's still recording. Here, let me take it out so you can actually show that. Okay, so my hands are wet, so Kevin's gonna take it out the case. There's a little laugh right there. Let me just dry off my hand and we'll just take it off right now. And it's completely dry. Completely dry. No water on it and it's still recording. Stare at yourself, you two. Stare, Stare at yourself. yourself. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is a little drop test on this. Right, so I'm basically going to walk outside and Jose's going to drop it to me. Hopefully he doesn't stop recording like last time. Stop that clip and start all over okay. so we can save that clip. So guys, we're here doing the drop test. Kevin is downstairs waiting for us. We're gonna drop it and see if it works. This is the first time doing it. You guys ready? In three, two, one. I'm just gonna. All right. All right. So inside contact. We're gonna do a second one just for fun. Recording? 
try. I'm doing a second one. And a cracker screen. I guess. I guess. So we're still recording. It fell down. We dropped it twice. I did a small little drop. We hit at least four times going down. I think Kevin threw into there. Throw one more. What? Last one. Still working? Must a little beat up, but still works. So guys, it's a little beat up, but still works. It's a good. All right. So now that we just saw those two footages and my point of view and the camera's point of view we're so, gonna give our honest opinion if it's worth buying well, we're gonna start with jose before that let's show him the damage he got so pretty much the damage just the rubber got a little dirty from there there and there no damage to the screen or camera a few scratches but nothing big it's all the video in here is still good and everything nope. yeah, if you might ask why we didn't use the protective plastic case is because that's not what this is meant for this is for water yeah so that's right. not meant for this this has a rubber rubberized thing so if that's for more for the drop test if we would throw that in the air that's for sure gonna break and one more thing guys when you guys buy this online from amazon or any website it comes with a lot more attachments it comes yeah, with a bike attachment comes with a special thing from a tripod it comes with a bunch more than the we found it's at goodwill which is these two pieces that's why it didn't come with much but when you buy it online it comes with a lot more Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So my opinion is camera. This camera is good if you have a kid and you want they want something to take pictures or videos with, and you don't have to have a phone yet. Get this little camera. They can't break it unless they throw it off a two-story roof a few times. Yeah, I mean, it we did that and it didn't break. So I mean, for the price, it's worth. It. Takes pretty good video, but this is released in 2015. I think they released a newer version of this. I think it's called the 180 or something like that. But it has well that better quality, better features. It has a front-facing camera, but. Like we said, we found this from a good old, which is that their review, and it works pretty good. I recommend you buy it for your kids. If you want something for yourself and you're older, just buy some GoPro. There's something for kids, little games, little fun, it's just stuff they can do. And Kevin's gonna tell you his opinion now. I honestly think you should buy it if you have a kid and you wanna give them something cheap that's gonna last a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna take it for a shot. Thumbs and up I, to me. I give it a good thumbs up too. And that's pretty much it, guys. We're going to, like last time, please like and subscribe. We're going to do at least two videos a week, at least one or two videos a week. We'll try our best. If you have any suggestions for us, just leave them in the comments. And that's pretty much it. Like, subscribe, and bell icon. And like, 